In this session, we will see the, the different types of the stability that is the classification of stability studies. Basically, the stability analysis is very easier. Also, it is lead to proper and effective understanding of different power system instability. If you are going through the stability analysis, it is easy and from the analysis of stability studies and you can see the what is the effective understanding of the, the different power system instabilities also. The key factor that leads to instability can be easily identified and appropriate the corrective measures should be taken so that the system remains in stable condition. That is why the method can be devised for improving the power system stability. The power system stability is classified basically into three different types. That is, the first one is what you are calling is angle stability. Then second one you have got a frequency stability, and the third one is the voltage stability. These are the Broader classification of the power system stability studies. Under angle stability studies, we have got the small signal stability, that is steady state stability, and the transient stability. Under small signal stability, we are classified once again into the two types. One is called as oscillatory and non-oscillatory. That is oscillatory small signal stability and non oscillatory small signal stability. Whereas under the frequency stability, we have got a mid term stability and long term stability. However, in the case of voltage stability, we have got large distribution voltage stability and small distribution voltage the stability. These are the, the, the broader classification of the stability stabilities. Then what do you mean by the angle stability? Where you are carrying out this particular angle stability? What is the importance of this? What is the importance of the frequency stability? What are the causes for this frequency stability? At the same time, we have to study the, the effect of the voltage stability also. In brief, first we will take up the rotor angle stability. We know that the name itself suggests that the rotor angle stability refers to the ability of the synchronous machine that is concerned to the generator the rotor angle stability which is concerned to the generators the rotor angle stability refers to the ability of the synchronous machine of an interconnect power system to remain in the synchronism after being subjected to a disturbance in the event of the, the disturbance what is the the deviation of the rotor angle based on that we are carrying out a stability studies that what we are calling is the rotor angle stability. The rotor angle instability, in other words, occurs due to angular swings of some generators leading to their loss of synchronism with the other generator. If the if the system is regaining its the original stable conditions, then the deviation of the the delta is increased and it is settled down to new angle delta, then it is a stable. Otherwise, if the distance is so high so that the angle delta is goes on increasing in that case it is causing a instability or the generator is losing its stable condition. The rotor angle stability once again it is classified into under the, the severity of the, the part that is one the classification is the small disturbances. The disturbances are considered to be very very small then the relations that is the system equations what we are expressing for the system parameters is linear in the nature and it is expressed in the linear uh, system equations and for the purpose of analysis the time frame of interest that is what carrying out this small signal a small disturbance rotor angle stability from 10 to 20 seconds 20 seconds because the disturbance is not so 
high so that the system study will have to wait for 10 to 20 seconds that is can the stability studies have to carry out 10 to 20 seconds and you have to take the appropriate the correct measures whereas in the case of the large disturbance rotor angle stability that is i told you the rotor angle stability is concerned to the single one generator once again the last disturbance rotor angle stability can be defined as it is the ability of the power system to maintain synchronism under severe or large disturbances such as short circuit on a transmission line the disturbances are so large that the linear equation the system equation cannot be expressed in linear form therefore the analysis is a little bit difficult in the case of large disturbances or large disturbance rotor angle stability at the same time the the disturbance is large then then we don't know the when the system is or angle delta is goes on increasing infinitely so that you have to in the case of the large disturbances the time frame can be curtailed to 3 to 5 seconds means because the disturbance is large you have to make the appropriate decision within a shorter time without losing that is the generator should not lose its singleness <coughs> the solution for this particular the uh, angle stability studies as that is in the power system they are using the power system stabilizers or pss that is uh, it is controlling the uh, actually that is the if the, the power output is increasing we know that i have to supply the voltage at a constant voltage and generated voltage has its own capacity e and v are constant then e is depending upon the excitation where v is the terminal voltage which is a constant excess is constant sin delta is the when the power is increased delta is increasing if the the disturbance is very large delta should increase beyond 90 degree that should not be then it is loses its synthesis therefore for increasing the the load in that case what you have to do is you have to increase the factor e so that e b by excess into sin delta that is v is a constant excess is constant delta is reaching its maximum value then which parameter you have to change that is the value of e that is only possible by increasing the, the excitation of the, the alternator that is how you have to come into power system stabilizers okay whenever there is a small disturbance in the system then the excitation control that is the power system stabilizers they are using okay this is uh, about the the angular stability studies in the voltage stability it is concerned with the load side it is a concerned with the load where a generator side we have got an angular stability then the voltage stability is concerned with the, the load the voltage stability refers to the once again ability of the power system to maintain steady voltages that is in all the parts of the the system the voltage should be within its permissible limit that is why it is defined as voltage stability refers to the ability of the power system to maintain steady voltage at all buses in the system after being subjected to disturbance from given initial operating condition in the event of any disturbances the the system it is regaining the original value of or permission value limits of the voltage at the different parts of the the circuit then the system is voltage uh, voltage stability that is the ability of the uh, system to maintain once again the steady voltages the system is voltage instable that is stable means it is regaining its original steady voltage at all parts of the the system if it is unstable or instable if for at least one bus in the system then the voltage magnitude decreases as the reactive power injection is increased that is if any change in the voltage is that is that is affecting the, the reactive power injection the voltage instability result in progressive fall or rise of the voltage of some buses because of the disturbances of this there is a progressively increase or or fall in the voltages of the sum of the, the buses 
once again in this voltage the stability state is also it is because of the the two factor one is a large of the disturbances and the small disturbances and here the large scale effect of voltage instability if there is a large scale effect of voltage instability lead to voltage collapse if there is a very very large change then the voltage is collapsing means the voltage is drastically decreasing thereby it is going into the instable unstable condition it is a process by which the sequence of events accompanying voltage instability leads to blackout also or abnormally low voltages in a significant part of the power system it's a very dangerous things that is it is leading to the blackout of the whole power system the driving force for the voltage instability is usually the loads i told you it is because of very large block of the loads if it is come on the system then there is a sudden drop in the voltages that causes the imbalance of the voltage in the all parts of the, the power system ultimately it is goes to into unstable condition the voltage stability problem is also experienced at the terminals of hvd chillings and connected to weak ac system also then the voltage stability classification once again it is under the two category one is the small disturbance voltage stability that is small disturbance voltage stability refers to the system ability to maintain the steady voltages when the subject is a small disturbance that is the system voltages if it is ability to regain maintain a steady voltage after some a small disturbances then it is called as a small disturbance voltage stability okay here the system equation can be the analyzed using the, the linear form or sometimes it is a non linear techniques also used for analyzing the voltage stability studies in the large disturbance voltage stability the large disturbance voltage stability refers to the system to system ability to maintain steady voltages once again due to due to the large change in the, the system parameters such as it is because of there is a fault in the system loss of generation or circuit configuration uh, contingencies these are the causes for large disturbances in the power system that cause the the voltage uh, instability the study period of interest may extend from few seconds to 10 10 of the minutes that is they are observing what is the consequences of this large disturbances because of the the faults loss of generation and the a different circuit contingencies the possible result uh, as that loss of load in an area because of it is overloading then ultimately there is a switching action by that there is a uh, loss of the load in the, an area tripping of transmission lines and other protective equipments the solution for this type of the voltage uh, instability can be avoided by using avr that is automatic voltage regulation or reactive power compensation this is how we are having the two loops here but that is uh, one is from the power system stabilizer as well as automatic voltage regulator that is controlling the power system or generating unit in the event of any changes on the load that is it is ultimately it is fall on the the generator and we have to adjust the the voltage or the power and maintain the voltage such that we have to adjust using the power system stabilizer and automatic voltage regulators then under the frequency stability studies once again the frequency stability refers to the ability of the power system to maintain the constant frequency following a severe system upset resulting significant imbalance between the generation and load that is we define our the voltage stability referred to the load side if there is a change in the very large change in the loads then the angle stability is referred to the generator side whereas the frequency stability is the combination of load and the generation if there is a the more imbalance between the generation and load then there is a it is a effect on the the frequency that is if the frequency stability is defined as it is ability of the regaining the the constant frequency in the event of any faults or any disturbances 
the frequency stability may be short term phenomenon or a long term phenomenon therefore the solution for this is primary and supplementary loop controls that is automatic load frequency control whatever calling is elfc and special productive plans can be made for making the the frequency uh, frequency to be maintained at constant value that is the rotor angle versus a uh, voltage stability that is a rotor angle stability is basically generator stability while the voltage stability means it is a load load stability that is i told you that is a rotor angle stability is refer to the generator side or generator stability while the voltage stability is refer to the load stability rotor angle stability may mainly interlink with real power transfer that is there is a direct relation between rotor angle stability with the, the real power transfer whereas the voltage stability is linked with the reactive power transfer rotor angle delta and real power and voltage voltage stability and the reactive power are coming into picture when we are comparing rotor angle stability and voltage stability